<laughs> like, well, Lady Luck was on my side. You know, the gods of Talladega always told me to always turn left, and I, I have lived by that word my entire life, and I think they looked over me here today. Always turn left. Hmm. You know, I've heard that mantra before. Indeed. There's a group of boys out on the flats. A uh, car cult or something. They always turn left. Indeed. And they worship they they worship Lord Junior. Lord Junior. <laughs> <laughs> also, one last thing, if you will allow this, what I have done in this month as well is preach the good the good word of Lord Junior. Of what? Oh yeah, Lord Junior. You don't remember Lord of Junior? Lord Junior. The, the, the gods of Ta the god of Talladega, Lord Junior. <laughs> All right. Um I fucking hear one more word about Lord yeah, Junior. Yeah, I've tried it's to like, get I've tried to Lord get Lord Junior this, Lord Junior that. I came back to to my house, did a couple of uh Hell Hell Juniors um yeah. for the morning's work and then I was going to meet them at the bar. Do you have like a religious symbol you keep around your house? Uh, I've turned this. Well, yeah, I've got the tire iron, which is up on the okay. wall. Yeah, it, so it's, you it's, a, it it's a cross tire iron. It's not one of the ones that looks like an L. It's like the full square or the full cross. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so I've got that up on the wall. And uh, I guess to flesh this religion out, one of the biggest tenets of this religion is, if you ain't first, you're last. That's one of the things that that the the if followers first, of Lord Junior. Yeah, if you, if you ain't first, you're last. Why not Can just you use those? Tell me what has happened here. Well, Evan, like I, what? I didn't know what the fuck to do. Lord Junior came into my head, and I, I just did what God told me to do, and that was to fucking knock her out. I didn't oh know what God. else to do. All right. Can we see her waking up? <laughs> I fucking get up, and I'm like, what the fuck, Baba? Where are you? And do I see him? Like, yeah, Oh, he's, Junior. He's right oh, next to you. Junior, shit. Evan, knock her out. <laughs> Look, I'm I'm sorry for hitting you first off. That that was that was my B, okay? My bad. But this, this town is just not... that's not how it works. You can't just hit somebody over the head and be like, my bad. My bad. You wanna hit you want I mean I, Lord Junior, you can if you wanna hit me over the head, Lord Junior will give you the grace of the tire iron if you want to. I mean Dang. Look, in the, the temple of Lord Junior, we if you ain't first or last and Clearly, I was first in hitting you, and clearly someone told you first. So we need to figure out who the fuck told you so they don't go fucking telling everyone else, and then I lose my fucking Winnebago. Yeah. Who is first, and why have they made <laughs> you last? <laughs> Corbett's like, or if Lambert you're too, not sorry. first, you're last, so let's go, Bubba. <laughs> you pull okay, up well, in, I wanted, to, I wanted to do a sermon on the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, with, tell us with tell Corbett. Us what you're saying to Corbett. With Corbett, I I, I told her the uh, the the preachings of Saint Johnson, and I tell her okay. Saint Saint Johnson once said, "Us drivers are stupid; we just go." I tell her that Saint Saint Johnson knew what what driving was all about, and uh, that that Lord Junior respected and uh, looked after. Uh, St. Johnson. Uh, praise be to Lord Junior. He is driven. Corbett, um, <laughs> Corbett crosses herself in the shape of a tire iron. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to open my brain up to what Lord Junior says and see if oh, we can make it through shit. this. Oh, oh yeah. Man. All right. Do it to it, brother. <laughs> so what do you do to open your brain to, to the, the power of Lord Junior? I... Uh, I take my hands, like the the forearms, and I make like the tire iron sign. Yeah. And I put it up to my forehead and just like look okay. up to the sky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you sort of zone out, and uh, like your eyes glaze over, and and your hands, or the the crossed arms in front of your forehead, like you see them start spinning like wheels, and then all of a sudden they're like wheels peeling out on the ground, and like rushing forwards, and they're leaving this trail of fire behind them. If you ain't first, you're <laughs> last. And then you snap out of it. Evan, be careful over there. Betsy is, uh, we're still teaching her the ways of Lord Jr., if you get my drift. Awesome. I remember, Betsy, no right turns. She, uh, she, she waves back. She's, she sings in a sing-song voice. If you're not first, you're last. And she punches the gas, <laughs> roars off at like 15 miles an hour. 
I put one arm on Corbett and I'm like, you have to start slowing down. You have to let Bubba get there first. <laughs> <laughs> like hell I will. And she punches him. <laughs> I'm like, well, I guess if you're, uh, if you're not first, you're last. <laughs> she looks at you, Evan, and she says, Lord Jr. says, if you ain't first, you're last. <laughs> Nice. We are first. And then she holds up a hand for a high five. I, I'm high just five laughing her. my ass off, but I give her the high five. All right. Bubba, I'm nervous. I don't know what's going on out here. Well, well Betsy, as, as St. Johnson once said, I, big credit to everyone at Hendrix Motorsports. And, I mean, we, we just got to we just gotta believe in Lord Jr. that he'll get us through this. He she sort driven. of murmurs to herself. She says, big credit to everyone at Hendrix Motorsports. I'll have to really think on that, Bubba. Thank you. I did too, Bubba. and it came to me eventually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Shazza turns around, and he throws wide his arms, and he says, look at what Lord Jr. hath brought unto us. <laughs> Salvation. And he, like, clasps his hands. Like, <laughs> and uh, you see, you see the other guy, like right next to him, like cross himself in the shape of the tire iron, and uh, you know he sort of falls to his knees and raises his hands to the sky. Guys, Saint Waltrip said, "If the line didn't bite the tamer every once in a while, it wouldn't be exciting." We got to turn around and go help the group. <laughs> Corbett goes, "Oh hell yeah!" <laughs> Shazza says, "As Lord Junior says, yeehaw!" And he hops into the driver's seat. You hear, you hear someone's voice raising from outside uh, in song. You notice that Shazza has slipped away. <laughs> and he's out there and he's singing a hymn to Lord Jr. Okay. Saying, my eyes have seen the glory <laughs> of the coming of Lord Jr. <laughs> yeah. Jesus uh, Christ. Et cetera, et cetera. Um, like, Shazza, that is lovely. And as, as Bubba steps out... Shazza turns around and he says, ladies and gentlemen, I give you Bubba. I put my arms up immediately and I'm like, hello. And Shazza says, for lo, the great gasoline in the sky will come down to earth and save us all from sin and damnation. Shazza, I didn't, what the fuck you preach? I didn't tell you that shit. And Shazza is sort of like, He's, he, he gets really worked up and he starts like just like ranting on and on about Lord Jr. and the finishing line and, and, and how much, you know, the holy gasoline is going to flow over and just like burn away the sins of everybody. Corbett, you, I didn't preach any of that, did I? Corbett looks at you and says, you know what, Bubba, I don't, I don't think you did. Corbett, come here. And I, I like pull her in and like put yeah. put a arm around her and talking to her and I'm like Cor- Corbett that's a little heretical and I can't can't be having anyone spread the wrong message so do me a solid one and 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 talk to uh talk to Shaz and make sure that shit don't happen again You know I, I need to tell you something too Evan just something I got to get off my chest fire away son he pours you both another shot he takes his he says, you know, Evan, I just recently found me, Lord Jr. <laughs> it's a glorious thing to be filled with religion, isn't it? Shazza and Corbett walk up. Bubba, you know, if you need an extra bead vest, I can, I can really help you out with that. For, you know, as Lord Jr. says, uh, you must give unto those who are not first so that they may have a chance at... <laughs> Not being last. Does not Lord Jr. say it so, Bubba? I, I turn very slowly to Shazza and I go, Shazza, what the fuck is a bead vest? <laughs> <laughs> Shazza says the good Lord Jr. Uh, endorses all forms of gambling and, and uh, monetary entertainment. Yeah, Shazza says a lot of things. Yeah, I, yeah, wouldn't, that he I does. wouldn't take too many things what he says to heart. I, I guess I like react to this person walking in. I don't know, like I don't recognize that it's Emberly, right? No. So I'm just I, I like I'm like looking around, kind of dazed because I'm on this narco, uh, narco stick or whatever you called it, and I'm yeah. just like, Lord Junior. <laughs> is that uh, is that you? 
I thought you were a man. Yeah, and like this this like beautiful woman turns and looks at you and she says, Bubba, you ain't first anymore. <laughs> and then like you sort of snap out of it and it's Emberly and she's like, What are you looking at? They uh they took Bubba for everything. I I approached them as they were burning his shit in the middle of burning. paradise. Yes, they were burning his shit. Was it was it real fire? Was it invisible? What? What do you talk? Was it real? They they were burning his shit. Yes. Yes. Was it, it was, a- was it the invisible fire of Lord Junior? No. <laughs> No, no, it wasn't. It was, oh. yeah, no, it, it was. Oh, okay. You know, he but pours out Lord, another shot. Lord Jr., you know, I've been, I've been in here, and, man, and Lord Jr.'s come to me a couple times. I guess this isolation has just allowed me to, to focus. Yeah, yeah. So, like, do you think maybe, maybe you're seeing the light of Lord Jr.? Well, I, I, I don't know what I'm seeing. You know, I've been with Bubba for a long time now, and, and he always said that Lord Jr. acts in, in mysterious ways, and so I don't really question that, you know? Like, yeah. I, it's just, that's just what I felt. No, it's, it's best not to question Lord Jr. Of course. Uh, listen, Evan, now yeah. that we're on the topic, um, you know, have you ever thought of really converting? Oh... You, you're so adorable, uh, son. I've, I've, I've been involved with Lord Junior for for years now. I I take a very specific role, though. And although you see my friend Bubba as an advocate and obviously as someone who evangelizes Lord Junior, I I'm I'm sort of Lord Junior's right hand in all of this. When Lord Junior yeah. needs something done, I get it yeah. done. So, you know, th- thanks, th- thanks, but I'm. I'm well on my way. He passes the bottle in through the bars, and then he snatches it back, and he says, wait, something I got to do first. He says, mama jama, Lord Junior, mama jama nama. And he, like, carves, like, a cross of the tire iron into the, the label on the bottle. He passes it through. He says, Evan, your health. And he walks away. I like walk in and I'm wearing a hood now and I like pull back my hood. I've just shaved my head completely now. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm just full. I don't have any hair on my on my face or head or anything. Like what happened here? Like oh, Amberly, no. Amberly, do you know of a workshop here in town? I do. I do. Come with me. I'm going to walk him over and we're going to find views. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. And I like slowly put my hood up. <laughs> look down at the ground. I give I him a look. I'm just like. Amberly, okay, look, I can't be seen around town, all right? You don't know I got some crazy fucking followers that took this Lord Junior shit way too far. I got to stay clear of them. I got this fucking look, look, looky who, look guy over here. He wants to kill me. I can't be seen. We got to we gotta be discreet. Eli? No. No, it's not Eli, my son. He says, my son, it is I, Shazza. Oh, Shazza, that's right. Shazza, I was expecting you. He looks and he says, my son, my son, Lord Junior has looked at you and he sees that you are not first and therefore that you are last. And he wishes, Evan, for you to be first. All we need is your devotion and your baptism in the fires of Lord Junior. How are you going to achieve a coup in paradise? A coup? It is not a coup, good Evan. It is a righteous upbringing of glory. And the fires, the invisible fires of Lord Junior will run through the town and they shall purge the unbelievers. And then we shall be clean and whole and pure. And we will not need to worry about the infected anymore, Evan. For it is only the purifying fire of Lord Junior that can cleanse the infection. Oh, and Evan. One more thing. Bubba is not first. (laughs) And he turns around and he walks back away. We got to, where where the fuck are the cars? Do you know where the cars are at? Uh, Corbett says, oh, 
Yeah, yeah, I know where the cars are at. I think, um, I think Shaz has got them. Why the, why the fuck does Shaz have them? She sort of looks at the ground and, and shuffles her feet a little bit. She says, well, Bubba, Shaz is, you know, he's real religious, something fierce, and, you know, he says that uh, only the Church of Lord Jr. should have vehicles. And so, well, I am the fucking church. Why the fuck does he need some fucking vehicles? <laughs> Who gave you this order? Well, Daft gets like this really different look on his face, and he says, "These orders, Evan, they come from the Lord Junior himself, little baby Lord Junior, not that grown-up Lord Junior. Daft, little uh, eight pounds, six ounce Lord Junior, sent in a manger. Daft." I've got something else from Lloyd Jr. I fucking take that pin, grab that grenade, shove it right down his pants, and I want to push that motherfucker over the wall. In the name of Lord Jr., my name is Evan Masters, and I must speak to Shaza immediately. Shaza says, yes, my son, but later, there is a false prophet, and we are here to destroy him. And like the entire gang like surges forwards into the uh, into the crane. Shaza, and wait, he has a giant bomb. Shaza it turns to you, Evan, and he grabs you with the mechanical arm and he lifts you bodily off the ground and he's holding you like two two feet off the ground and he looks up into your face and he says, If there is a bomb in that crane, Evan, then we are all meeting Lord Junior this day. Evan? We'll deal with that in a sec. I just want to ask, are you a religious person? <laughs> Bubba, I think you've known me long enough to know that I'm a very spiritual person, but I'm no way a religious person. Good. Because where I come from, they learn very quickly that if you make up shit that's bigger than people ever could be, they'll believe in it right away. And that is what I've done in this town. And everyone else fucking fell right into it. That's part of our training. So I just want you to know that all this Lord Jr. shit, none of it's real. If you're going to act on your own, you're acting on your own. You hear a voice from upstairs shout, Open in the name of Lord Jr. 